Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. I am so excited for today's video because I've had this palette for like probably a good week now and I've really been wanting to play with it ever since I've seen the first swatch pictures of it. <laughs> so I am super excited to finally dive into this. So I stumbled across this brand like, I don't know, probably like a good month ago, close to a month ago, and I was like, man, I really love their vibes, everything about them, and then they started posting pictures of this palette here, which is the Howling For You. This is Rebel Rouge Labs. I did mispronounce it in both the podcast and my video where I talked about it because I just recently talked about this palette in... Um, I think it was like the Halloween launches. I'll link it up above, which you guys have really showed a lot of love for that video. And I'm so glad that you did because I was really excited to film one because I haven't done a type of video like that in a while. But yeah, I did um, I did talk about this and I went on their site and seen that it was like sold out. I was super bummed about it. Um, but I did end up messaging her that same day and I was like, are you guys going to have a restock? And then I looked at her stories and it said like, um, small restock coming soon. So I messaged her back and I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I just not seen your story. Um, you know, I'm excited for the restock or whatever. And she messaged me right back and she was like, perfect timing because, um, two orders or an order or two had, um, been canceled. So I was able to snag one and I was so excited. So this is not only an indie brand, but an Etsy brand. And you guys know I love Etsy because I have my own Etsy brand. And so I was super excited about that. And I'm, I'm blown away, guys. It did come in a mailer, a purple mailer. Um, and then this is the, like, slip cover. It's one of the palettes that have, like, a slip. And then it slides out. It also came, like, with a little sticker, which I'm looking. I need to get myself a clear case for my computer so I can start sticking these all on like a case or something. Tons of different stickers I have. Um, and then this is what the palette looks like. So I do love the theme of her Instagram so much. You guys need to check it out. It's very like dark. Um, but there is like those pops of colors and I just love it. But this is just like a slip cover. But you can see that they're completely different. They're so pretty though and just the whole design, everything about it. I love it. Um, it also, like I said, have like a little slip to protect the shades. Everything is very professionally done. I This is one of my first indie brands I have tried. Um, besides like ColourPop, because I tried ColourPop back in the day when it was like not so mainstream. Definitely just very indie. But like I've mentioned, I'm mad at myself that I have not reached out to more indie brands. So I still am on a low buy, but when I do spend, I want to make sure that I am putting money more towards indie brands too. But yes, back to this palette. I believe this was 35. Maybe that's not with shipping. I think it was like around 40 something um, with shipping. So really not bad. Um, and then my, I talked about the finger swatches and like the swatches of this palette, and how blown away I was. And it's almost one of those things where it's like too good to be true. No, these are a little faded because I just watched these for photos, but they're really good. Like I am so excited to dig into this palette because these swatches, they swatch amazingly and I know you can't always put it on the swatches, but I'm just saying my first thoughts about it while swatching these, I was like, with each shade, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, <laughs> but not, when I first opened it though, the first thing I noticed though was look at these pan sizes. Like they're much bigger than what you think. Um, I wish I had a ColourPop palette sitting close. Don't have a ColourPop palette sitting close, but I do have this uh, palette from Kylie Cosmetics, the Halloween palette. And this is pretty much the same size as a ColourPop palette um, pan sizes. So, I mean... You get your money's worth with this. It is only nine pans, but I believe like a Kylie Cosmetics palette is around 40 something dollars this size with nine pans. So you definitely get your money's worth with this because those pan sizes are so big. Now that I have all that out there, I'm gonna jump into a look because I feel like I've been talking for way too long. I have more to say, but I want to keep the video rolling. So going into this palette, I didn't know what look I wanted to do. I'm definitely eyeing the green that laboratory shade, like, 
oh my gosh. But I was like, I have a look in mind that I want to do with that shade. So I'm going to wait on it. And guys, I think I'm going to have to go there with the purple. You guys know how it is. I love me some purple. And it is a matte. Menace is what it's called. So I'm going to go into it first. And then go ahead and start putting it on my outer corner. And then into the crease. Um, I do have my MAC Painterly paint pot down already. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start blending this shade. Kind of blowing it out because I'm going to put a shimmer down on the lid. This is definitely a palette where you want to go light-handed because... I kind of went a little ham and I'm going to have to blend out these edges really well, but it is blending really nicely. It's just super pigmented, which is a good thing. You guys know how I feel about purples. I also wanted to mention that this is made and formulated without parabens, mineral oil, um, and like all the bad stuff. It's also made without gluten, which I can appreciate. There isn't really a highlight shade in this palette, so I'm going to have to wait for my face highlighter to do that. You guys know, me being me, I really want to go into Illusion. But instead I'm going to go into Shriek and be a little bit different than what I normally would go for. I just, I love purple on purple on purple. Oh my god, I love it so much. But we're going to go a little bit more colorful today. I'm just gonna take Shriek and put that all over the lid. Oh my lord, guys, do you see this? I'm not gonna worry about the lash line right now. I'll clean that up, but I am gonna go back into Menace and just add a little bit of it around. My hooded eyes are going to transfer a little bit, but that is okay. Oh my gosh, the shade is so pretty. And guys, I don't think I'm going to be able to help it. <laughs> I really want to go into the green. So, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to take a little bit of laboratory and just put it like right here. In this inner corner. You do have to build this one up just a little bit. Okay, I'm not sure what you guys last seen because my camera shut off because my card was full, so I had to switch cards. Um, but I just added Laboratory the Green. I'm hoping that you guys seen me add this into my inner corner. Um, but yeah, all I was saying is I'm loving this color story right now, and that's honestly, like, this color story here is really what won me over with this palette. I feel like it's so unique, and... I feel like um, this was actually the first year that we've seen tons of even mainstream brands coming out with Halloween collections, and each one I was like, I'm excited, and that's why I made that video doing the Halloween launches. I'm excited that they're jumping on board for Halloween, but I feel like they weren't really nailing it where so many indie brands were, so this one definitely caught my eye, um, and that's, I mean, it's just so beautiful um also the freaking is it the freaking bats palette that one really caught my eye another indie brand and i did order that one but it's i'm not really sure when i will get it because it's just like one of those where she's going to ship them out as they're being made so we will see on it but when it comes to halloween indie brands for the wind honestly like they're killing it all right, I am back. I went ahead and finished up uh, my foundation and stuff. I actually mixed the Flower Beauty Light Illusion and then the Luminizing Primer from Dr. Brandt. That little concoction, I actually have a video on this if you guys want to check it out. And then I went ahead and powdered with a little bit of Laura Mercier powder. Just mainly underneath my eyes and then I went around my face just a little bit. I'm about to go into a cream bronzer so I wanted to not do it too much um, but definitely wanted to set because I did go into uh, some 
Estee Lauder concealer. So yeah, and then I use my Wonder Beauty Mile High Club mascara. And the only thing I did with my lower lash line was I just took the blender brush that I used that with the purple shade, and I just used the excess product along my lower lash line. I never even dipped back in because it's so pigmented. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. I did want to throw this in here because this is my first time using this. Um, this is from Soul Body, ColourPop sister brand. This is their Fair um, Face and body bronzing balm. I've never used it, so I'm hoping like this doesn't ruin the look, but I just got this in too, so I was like, man, I really want to use it. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to use a brush. Like I said, I um, mainly just powdered underneath my eyes, but I did go lightly around my face, but I did try to avoid some of the areas that I normally take my bronzer. I was a little nervous about the shade, but I think I can make it work. It is a little warm, I feel like that's looking really pretty. This is one of Luxie's airbrush brushes. What, which one is this? Small contour 1010 is what it looks like. It's kind of rubbed off, but I really like it. This is face and body, um, and when it came out, I was like, it just reminds me of the um, Chanel one, even though I've never tried the Chanel one, like I just get that vibes with this. So I was really wanting to try it out. And I see like a few other brands have it too. The ColourPop's prices, well this is Soul Body, but their prices are just like incredible that I was like, I need to try ColourPop's Soul Bodies. And this smells, oh my gosh, it just smells like summertime. It's so good. It has kind of like a coconut scent, tropical scent. And then for blush today, I'm really wanting to use my Kylie Flutter and Love blush from the Stormy Collection. I just really have been liking this one again. Looks like that. It's kind of like a purple pink mix. And then for highlighter, I'm going to be taking this Ofra one. This is the Star Island one highlight. I'm also going to take a little bit of this to put on the brow bone as well. Just a smidge. Kind of flared out the eyeshadow a little bit. And then some setting spray. Had to top it off with a black lipstick. Okay, so I'm pretty impressed so far, and I cannot wait to dive right back into this. Definitely need to before spooky season is over with. Um, like I said, color story is like on point. I'm really liking the formula though too. I feel like the matte was really easy to work with. I do feel like um, a little bit of it's been brushed away like right through here and I think it's because I worked on blending out this point for so long that it kind of blended the shade out a little bit. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, you guys know like I'm pretty picky about eyeshadow. I can usually get it to work, but I am pretty picky um, and I'm really impressed with this. I feel like so far the matte blended really nicely. Um, I feel like even the lime is pretty pigmented in the inner corner. And then the metallic I'm obsessed with. That formula is so beautiful and it's just stunning on the lid. Definitely really good shades for some spooky season shades. I feel like the only one that I'm kind of like mm, about is, you guys probably already know, the middle glitter shade Ghosted. Um, I actually thought it was a metallic um, before I got it. And then when I seen that it was a glitter, I was like uh, a little bit disappointed, but only because I'm not a glitter person. So I know a lot of people would be really excited about that shade if they're into glitter. I'm just somebody who I've never really been a big glitter person to begin with, so that is why. But um, I do think it's a really pretty glitter mix. It's very Halloween, so I really like that. And the shifts and everything, I may end up trying to use it in a look too. Um, I can say when I swatched it, 
there's a little bit of residue left over, but when I wiped them away, it pretty much, with my makeup eraser, the glitter pretty much went. There's a couple of sparkles around my wrist, but it's not even glitter. So that could just be from the metallic. So the glitter did wipe away really good. So I like that. I hate lingering glitter. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I definitely will have to try it at some point, but that's the only one that I was kind of like, uh, I could have done without, but it's just my love-hate relationship with glitter. It's beautiful, but I hate working with it. But yeah, I am super impressed, and I definitely want to try out some more from Rebel Rouge Labs. I am excited to see what she comes out with next. Thank you guys if you watched this video today. Um, I will keep you informed on the bronzer. Um, so far, I like the way it looks today. I want to see, like, how it wears. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to try it out for this because I just got it in the mail. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you have this palette, what do you think? Or is this a brand you're eyeing now? I, Like I said, I'm super impressed. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.